guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Are you gonna do that throughout the whole video? My, my duck. Keeping me company for the video. I guess he's gonna do that throughout the whole video. He's so cute. Are you done? Huh, are you done? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna continue and hopefully he'll quiet down in a bit, right? Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I keep in my grooming kit, my grooming tote, my grooming caddy. I mean, I guess it's called a carry caddy. I just call it my grooming kit. I thought it'd be a fun, cool, chill video to do for you guys. Sit down and have a chat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what, what I keep in my grooming kit. I love watching these kinds of videos. I just, I like to see what people keep in their grooming kit, what they find essential. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I keep in mind. So, you okay? You okay? Okay, so starting off, the first thing I have in here is fly spray. I always keep fly spray because here we tend to have a lot of bugs so it's always part of my grooming routine to fly spray them when I'm done grooming them so I like to keep this in there. This one is an old fly spray I bought but I refilled it with a different fly spray like the little refillable jugs. I refilled it, I don't remember what brand of fly spray I have in here but yeah just basic fly spray. <laughs> All right, next up I keep this brush. This is a mane and tail brush. This one's from Oster. I'd rather use this than a comb. I just feel like it's a lot easier to use and it detangles a lot faster. So this is the one I keep in my kit. And I always brush my horse's manes when I groom them, so I like to keep that in there. Next up, I keep some Corona. Um, this is just a multi-purpose ointment. It's for minor cuts, sores, burns, chopping, and dry skin. Um, Okay, usually when I'm grooming my horses, I'll find cuts on them. I'm so sorry if you guys can't hear me or if the quacking is annoying. I'm sorry if the quacking is annoying. All right, so I keep some Corona. I always find cuts or scrapes on them and it's just handy to keep this on in my grooming kit so I don't have to walk over to the tack room. So I like keeping this on hand in case I find anything. I'll just apply it really quick. Another medicinal type thing I keep is this Wonder Dust. It's the same thing, it's for wounds, cuts, scrapes. Usually if the cuts are fresh and moist, a cream product like this won't stick to it. It'll just kind of goop off. So I like to use this one for that. This is Wonder Dust, it's like this powder that you put on the, on the wound and it sticks to it so I feel like this works a lot for those kinds of wounds that are too slippery or moist. And again, I don't like to walk over to the tack room to go grab it if I need it so I just like to keep it in, in my grooming kit. All right, next up, I keep this Hoof Flex Natural Spray. I hauled this in my tack room sale vlog. If you guys haven't watched it or if you're interested in watching it, I'm gonna link it down below. I've been actually using it and it's been really amazing. I like it, I like how easy it is to use and it works really well. This is a uh, hoof dressing and conditioner, hoof. I've noticed that a lot of people say hoof, the hoof or hooves. All my life I think I've said hooves, so let me know if you say it the way I say it or if I'm saying it wrong and the correct way to say it is hooves. But yeah, let me know. I say hooves. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been working really good. Next up, I keep some... All right, next up I keep some Cowboy Magic. This stuff is used to detangle manes or tails and it works amazing, it literally is magic. So sometimes, not sometimes, every time I bring the horses out they have knots in their manes, so I like to use this to detangle it. Yeah, I really like it and it works great, so I keep this in there as well. Next up I keep a hoof pick, just a basic hoof pick. You always need a hoof pick if you pick your horse's hooves. Well, you should be picking your horse's hooves, but um, yeah, just a basic hoof pick. Um, I don't know where I got this one from, but it's just a red basic hoof pick. All right, next up, I have this curry brush, curry comb, curry brush. This one is from, not sure where it's from, but this is my absolute favorite thing to use to break down dirt on my horses. It works amazing, and you don't need that much elbow grease to get in there. It breaks down everything. Um, I love this brush. It's like my favorite thing to use for like crusty dirt. I love it. All right, the next thing I keep in here are some rubber bands. These are just braid bands in black. Sometimes I decide to braid my horse's manes. If they're really sweaty under their mane, I'll just braid it. So I like to keep this in there. Whenever I do decide to braid their mane, I have it on hand. I have a bunch. I, I wonder if people ever run out of these. I'm not sure. Here comes another one. 
Next up, I have this brush. This is a soft brush. I also hauled this in my tax sale vlog. I absolutely love it. It's been working great on the horses. It's so cute. I love the horseshoe. And it's like a finishing soft brush. It's really nice. And I think it's the cutest little thing ever. I love it. The last thing in here is this blue hard brush. I actually got this in my first grooming kit. Um, it came in a kit. I've kept it and it works great. All right, that is it. That is all I keep in my grooming kit. This is the grooming tote. I got this at some tax store and it's not the average size. I know that they sell like the basic carry caddies. They're a lot bigger than this one. I wanted a smaller one so I found this smaller one at the tax store. It's just red. This is what it looks like inside. It's pretty dirty. I should be cleaning it. But yeah, I really like it and I wanted it small so that I, it would be easy for me to carry. And I don't think I keep too many things in my grooming kit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys keep in your grooming kit. Something that you think is essential that I should have in my grooming kit. Leave that down below. Let me know. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I thought it'd be something fun to do for you guys and just a cool way to sit down and chat. I see all your requests. Uh, Meet the Horses video is coming soon. A barn tour, a lot of you guys wanna see a barn tour as well. I see all your comments. Um, I'm trying to clean up the place a little bit before I give you guys a tour. I'm really excited for you guys to meet the horses. I'm also working on that video. They're all gonna be coming soon. So thank you guys so much for all the suggestions you leave in the comments. You guys are so sweet, I swear. You you guys leave the nicest and sweetest comments. Thanks, Bubba. I also wanted to let you guys know that we are so close to a thousand subscribers. And if you guys don't know, I'm planning on doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. And I'm really excited about it. I really want to give something away to you guys. You guys have been so nice to me, so supportive. I love reading your comments. So thank you so much for all the support. I can't wait for that thousand subscribers. I'll get a chance to give something away to you guys. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you still have more suggestions on something you want to see. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye from him too. Hopefully he wasn't too annoying throughout this video. He finally decided to be quiet at the end of it, so oh well. He's a cutie.